hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you don't already know my name is Bryce Lammer thank you for joining me today so I have gotten a lot of questions about tech school granted I went to tech school over a year ago I've already been stationed at this base for a year and about three months so bear with me because I honestly don't remember week by week like I know what I did during those weeks but I don't remember week by week like which week followed which week so yeah bear with me but i'll give you a rundown of how my security forces tech school experience was so yeah if i am telling you things out of order yes i already know so you don't need to tell me because i'm fully aware that i probably don't remember everything 100 percent correctly but i'm going to do it to the best of my ability and sorry i look like a mess right now but oh well, who cares so yeah let's get started so oh and i have my ipad right here and i have like a list of notes to kind of help me keep track of what i did first off when i went to tech school it was 65 days long and that was not including weekends so it was a little over three months i believe yeah, a little bit over three months, I want to say. And I know that there is a new, that they implemented a new security forces uh, tech school. And I know, I think they inserted like OC spray or something. We did not have that when I went through. So yeah, it's probably not going to be the same as it is right now in 2019. We also had phases, which I think we had two. We might have had three, but I honestly don't remember. And phases are like the phases that you earn to be able to wear civilian clothes around to be able to go off base so when you first start when you first start you are on base and in uniform and then you earn your way by like passing room inspections like three consecutive room inspections and passing uniform inspections and then once that happens then you are able to like leave base and wear civilian clothes and then you just have to be back in time for accountability which that brings me into my next topic is accountability you have it every night and on the weekends it does switch it's like usually nine o'clock on the weekdays i believe and then like 11 o'clock on the weekends and i seriously hated accountability it was so like frustrating especially because i was a rope and people to understand that if we weren't quiet they would keep our team and I swear not to be mean or like be salty towards my team or anything but I swear we probably we probably were the team that less left last every single time from accountability because we didn't know how to keep our mouth shut so yeah when you go to tech school keep your mouth shut and stop trying to be a troublemaker because unless you want to stay in accountability for hours on end I mean feel free that's up to you so, I mean, my team loved to stand out there and be the last team to go every day. So, it's all up to you guys. Now, let's get into week by week and what security forces look like. So, the first week, so it's going to be sat week. You're going to be arriving and granted, um, security forces is still in Lackland. So, you literally get bust down the street like 10 minutes, if that. So, when you first arrive, they instantly start like um, the sat pushers which are like airmen who are usually have been there for a while because they have something that's making them linger and stay around like due to injuries, something like that. So they aren't able to finish the course quite yet. They've been there for a while. Some of them have been there for months. Some have been there for years. It like a year at least, like it's, it's crazy. But they start yelling at you. Instantly when you get off the bus, you have to run. You literally have to run everywhere in tech school. Like if you're going, like besides when you're marching, if you're going somewhere, you have to run jog keep those feet moving or else they're gonna yell at you and yada 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 so yeah that's fun so and so you got the bus then you got to move all your luggage to a certain area like up on this patio area i can't remember what it's called but up on this patio area and yeah so sat week is like a week long it's gonna be have briefings let you know how tech school is what's expected lots of paperwork you're gonna get your rooms, you're gonna get your roommates, kind of what that week is. The next week, or at least the week that I decided to put second, I don't remember the weeks necessarily, is history week. And that's just gonna be your basic learning about Air Force history and security forces history. And then at the end of that week, you will be taking a test and you have to 
maintain a 70%, I believe, to move on to the next course without getting washed back. The next week is going to be CADM, which is weapons training. You are going, it's going to be taking place in Medina, which you will go eat breakfast and then you will go out to Medina, which is off Lachlan Air Force Base onto a different base and, or like a different base, yeah. And it's gonna be two weeks long. You're going to be firing the, your M4, M9, M240 Bravo, M240, the grenade launcher. I don't know if we fire anymore, I can't remember. But for each weapon, you will learn how to disassemble the weapon, how to reassemble the weapon, how to do immediate actions, remedial actions in case the weapon gets jammed, or you just don't necessarily know what's wrong with it and why it's not firing, then you do the, these certain steps. And you also learn how to load and reload. I think it's like, um, I can't remember the two reloads, it's like rapid reload and something else. Yeah. And then you have to, after you learn how to do the certain steps for the weapons and you'll go out and fire the weapons. So you'll learn it, then you go fire it, and then you move on to the next weapon. And you have to qualify on the M4 and the M9 in order to move past that week. And the other weapons, you just have to be able to fire them and learn how to do the actions. You will also learn um, different firing positions and how to clean your weapon. You'll have to do that after you fire it. The next week is combatives and I'm telling you right now, you better be hydrated because honestly, like, I've never been that person to faint from heat exhaustion or anything like that. But this is where a lot of people end up getting washed back because they faint and then they can't finish that day. And so that puts them back. And so they have to get washed back and have to redo it. I'm thankful that I didn't get washed back, but they make you do... PT before you start combatives and PT after lunch, I believe it is. So you PT twice a day in full uniform inside a hot building. And I think it's a week and a half long. And this is where you're going to learn like self-defense. You're going to learn certain maneuvers. I don't remember what the names are, but you're going to learn how to do certain things with the subject and stuff like that. You're going to be doing a little bit of baton practice and... Then at the end, I believe you're going to be fighting the red man and maybe, I don't remember. I think you do, but I know that you also go against like a partner and you'll try to do those, do certain maneuvers. Like you'll be like a minute, like going against somebody else. And I think you might work on handcuffing as well. Go back to my story. Once you're done, you have to stay on attention at, on the wall. And then the rope has to go up and report, blah, blah, blah. After we did all of the exercises, I was standing against the wall and I seriously felt like I was going to black out. My vision started going black and like, actually no, during the exercise, my vision started going black, but I didn't want to say anything. And then one of the tech sergeants who was switching to security forces, but she was on my team and she noticed I was struggling. And so she walked outside with me and then I just got some fresh air. Thankfully, I didn't black out, but I was literally on the verge of it. I couldn't stand still. I couldn't hardly stand up. Be prepared to sweat every single day to be doing a lot of moving around that week. The next week is going to be deadly force. I believe you go back to Medina and then it's like a different area of Medina that you go to and you're going to be learning how to clear out houses and like so like if a also like if a situation is going on you're going to be learning how to enter that house and how to deal with the subjects inside the house and sometimes you gotta decide whether or not you need to do lethal force or what type of force you need to use whether that be you know like i said lethal or non-lethal then they'll teach you what to take into consideration in order to make your judgment i also believe if you're not doing that little section of deadly force, you also learn flight line procedures, but that's very short. It's like super, super, super short. So I literally don't even remember. The next week you're going to be learning about is articles, like certain laws that we have on base, the UCMJ, um, all the articles that we have, and then you'll take a test. And like I said, you have to get a 70% in order to pass the next week.
the next week i'm just gonna say it's forms week because i honestly don't remember unless this is part of articles week i don't remember but you're just gonna be learning how to fill out forms and what forms security forces members have and need do learn those because when you come to your base you are going to know how you are going to need to know how to fill out forms and the next week is going to be police week that week is pretty fun i mean it's not that bad but you're going to be learning how to challenge an individual out of the car and how to do a traffic stop when pulling someone over and how to call in a traffic stop when you do the traffic stops you will be driving a police car training car around and then you're gonna pull someone over and then you're gonna do all the procedures and they'll help you along the way the next week after that which this week i did not enjoy at all and this is like the week that everyone knows about it's called camp bolus and it's three weeks long and it i don't know it was terrible because one all the gear that you have to wear i felt a little claustrophobic and i didn't really realize i was kind of like that until i had to put all this stuff on i kind of it took me like a full week and a half to even get used to the uniform that we had to wear every single day so you had to wear knee pads elbow pads your vest helmet glasses and um you had to have your holster on then you had to have your m9 and your m4 with you and you had to have a helmet on it was just a lot and i felt like my whole body oh and gloves on and your whole body was just covered head to toe just like a little bit of your face was showing and whew, you would get overheated because I went during the middle of the summer and it was so freaking hot, like drench sweat every single day and you'd be gone literally like all day, all day. And in the mornings when you guys line up to before you arm up and all that stuff, you have to, you guys only have 30 minutes for the entire team to eat and we had like a hundred and something people. and. From start to finish you had 30 minutes to eat so you basically had like five minutes per person to eat when you're inside then you had to come back out and get dressed and yada yada all that before your cadre come to get you to get started with your day so that was fun campbell's is basically a mock deployment oh and you literally have no service out there so good luck with that you don't have service inside the dormitory at all but a good tip for you guys is this is what i did is i put my cell phone against the wall or the window i mean and if you have an Apple Watch, then have your Apple Watch linked to your phone. And then you could leave your phone in the in the window and it could have service. And then you could just text in the dorm with your watch, like going to sleep and stuff like that. Like, honestly, that's what I did. So fun tip for you guys. But yeah, it's just basically a mock deployment and you learn how to clear buildings and you fire a lot of rounds. Um, yeah, and then you eat lunch in like an MRE out there when you're doing your thing. Um, I honestly can't remember everything that we did. You also get pictures taken of you. You'll learn how to move in fire teams, stuff like that. So yeah, be prepared. It is pretty fun when you're actually doing it, but you seriously only do something for like 30 seconds and then you have to wait till your whole team gets through. And then you maybe do 30 seconds again. So honestly, you didn't do much through that entire like seven eight hour day you literally did like maybe a minute of work and then you just sat around all day so be prepared to stand and sit around all day it is not fun at all so yeah after camp bolos you will come back to base and then the last week you have is nukes week and it's the final week and you just learn about nukes in the classroom and then you'll take a test at the end Apparently to everybody, it was like the hardest week for a lot of people, but that was the last week. You had to get a 70% to pass and then you moved on to graduation. That's about all I can remember from my experience in security forces tech school. I personally did not enjoy um, those 65 days in tech school. It was a struggle for me. I know it's a struggle for a lot of people. You can't talk to family that much you're standing up a lot you're not doing a whole lot during the work day i feel like you're just waiting around a lot you're especially during this um summer you're dying of heat so please hydrate a lot because trust me it will be hard to make it through a day without hydrating and try to eat a lot when you have time to eat and hang out with friends when you can because you do go a little bit stir crazy 
you can go to the movies, you can go to the river walk, you can, you know, get tattoos if you want to, you can go out to eat once you get like certain freedoms and certain phases. So yeah, be prepared for that. So if you're going to Security Force Texel, good luck. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me on my Instagram account and I'll link my handle below. There are going to be a little bit of differences between when I went in 2018 and, no, did I go in, yeah, 2018 till now. So yeah, like I said, you do get OC spray. And so I'm not going to know how that course is, how that course is ran during that week. When I got to my first base here, I did get tased. And let me tell you, that was not fun. I don't know if you get tased in this tech school. I don't think you do, but you do have an option to get tased at your first base, I believe. It is not fun. Thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Sorry that I was looking down so much. I was just trying to recall all the events. That was just a like point blank rough out sketch of what Security Forces Tech School looked like. I know there are some things that I guarantee that I probably missed or couldn't remember. So that was just a brief rundown. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.